I'm in Dynamics 365 for operations here. Let's have a look at the process of installing the warehouse mobile application. So I'm on a Windows machine here, so I'm going to go to the uh, Microsoft Store. So let's go to the Microsoft Store. So we'll go to the Microsoft Store and I'm going to search for um, Dynamics 365 for operations warehousing so this is the app that we need so D365 for operations warehousing app so I'm going to install this and it works in this case I'm on a desktop PC so it's going to work on there it's going to work on a uh, Windows mobile device and it's also going to work on the Android devices there's not an iOS uh, app at this particular stage so you'll see that it's installed so if I find on my machine it's installed here so let's go and start it up um, I'm just going to bookmark it here or pin it to my taskbar now when it starts up um, what you're actually in is a demo mode so if you'll see in the connection settings you'll see that you're in demo mode um, and so this is kind of handy you can have a bit of a mess around and I'm just using a mouse at the moment but you can use these to um, click around and see some of the menus but obviously you can't change or really put anything back into uh, Dynamics AX or Dynamics 365 <coughs> So um, what you can do here is set the connection settings. So to set these I'm going to turn them on and you'll see here that I've got connection settings all already. So um, I'll cover in a separate video how you go and put these in but essentially you'll need um, some configuration done to be able to connect the application to your cloud-based Dynamics 365 deployment. One of them is going to be a client ID which is an ID value for an application that's registered in Azure Active Directory. The key for that which is essentially a password. The link to your um, Dynamics AX um, resource. So in this particular case you'll see that it's um, the same URL as my Dynamics 365 so that's what that URL is and then the login uh, information so in this case it'll be login.windowsnet um, and then the domain so in my case I'm logging in as microsoft.com that's my user accounts and then obviously the company so once you've set these values again I'll cover how you get those in a, another video um, if you simply hit back out you'll get the message that says um, accept the usage terms so I'm going to say yes and then it will try to connect so if it connects OK and you don't get an error message then you'll be able to log in here so what's the login that you're going to use well this login is now going to be the warehouse worker so if we go into warehouse management um, so in warehouse management if we go to our mobile device menu not our mobile device worker if we go to the worker menu um, you'll find this is my user I've just reset the password for the user and so that's my user that I'm going to use and my password for example so once I say OK then you'll see the menu slightly changes um, because it's now picking up the menus that I've got from my menu system so I've got a lot more menus now that I've connected so that's a quick look at downloading and installing it. In a follow-up video let's go and have a look at um, changing the connection settings. Now one thing to note is how do you get back to change the settings. So if you go to about you'll see that this is the connection information. If you um, come out of that and just simply hit log off up the top here this will give you the connection settings at that login screen so if you go to connection settings if you want to change back to demo mode you can change it back to demo mode which will get you back you'll notice that if I turn the connection back on then those connection values are going to be stored um, in the uh, applications so I can simply use those to to get back um, that allow me to switch between demo mode and the connected mode 
Alright, so in the follow-up video we'll have a look at how we actually configure that and get those